Hello friends, today we will see indefinite integration using substitution. Integration by substitution. By substitution. Consider one example. Let us see the example. Integral x divided by sin x square dx. Here, if you observe, integral x upon sin of x square dx. This sin is a denominator. You can write this as cosec x square into x dx. Now, here, if you observe, x is in the derivative of x square. So, we can use the substitution, put x square equal to t. Then, derivative of x square is 2x dx and derivative of t is dt. So, x dx is dt by 2. It means that by substitution, we have converted this into t and this part into dt by 2. So, what we get? It is equal to cosec t dt. And now, what is formula for cosec t? Its formula is log of tan t by 2. We have already studied the formula. Now, we get the integral of cosec t, but we need the answer in terms of x. So, we are using the value of t, whatever we have used first. So, we are resubstituting the value log uh, of t, it will be log of tan x square by 2. This is the answer. Similarly, you can solve the examples of substitution. Example number second. Let us see here, please. Integral sec square x divided by tan x plus 1 dx. Let us see, please. I have derivative sec square x and I denominate tan x plus 1. We know that derivative of tan x plus 1 is sec square x. To get this derivative, we can put the value uh, for this tan x plus 1 t. Put tan x plus 1 equal to t. So, what is derivative of tan x? It is sec square x and derivative of 1 is 0. No need to write. Sec square x dx is dt. It means for this sec square x dx, we get dt and for this tan x plus 1 we get we have t we can put dt divided by t here now by formula integral 1 upon t dt it becomes log of t mod complete plus c now to get the answer we substitute the value of t whatever we are used first so we get log of tan x plus 1 mod complete plus c it means in substitution, when you are, you are solving the integration with the help of substitution, you need to see the part or the function whose derivative is present. You have to put the t or any variable for this part whose derivative is present or can be obtained. In this example, we are used for x square because its derivative x was present here, and here we are using the substitution for tan x plus 1 because its derivative is present at the numerator we can easily convert in terms of new variable say t. We will see the next example. Number third, integral a dash of x of form a prop x dx. Let us see this example is very general example. Now, a dash of x indicate that it is derivative of f of x. So, to get the derivative, we use the substitution for f of x. Now, put f of x is equal to t. If you put f of x equal to t, automatically its derivative becomes a dash of x and t becomes dt. So, we get dt divided by t. What is the integral of 1 upon t? It is log t mod of x plus c it is log of f of x plus c i is equal it means the integral f dash of x upon f of x dx is equal to log of f of x plus c ah, let us see 
uh, here f dash of x upon f of x dx is equal to log of f of x. From this we get general formula. If derivative function which is a denominator is given at the middle, we get the answer log of f of x plus c. It means that if any question like this is there, you can directly write the answer log of f of x if derivative is present at the numerator. It means that same question we can solve easily with the help of this formula which we have obtained. Before this, we have solved this example with the help of substitution. But now, as we have studied now the general relation, general formula, we can solve this example. Here it was x square x and at the denominator it is 10x plus 1. You can observe. What is 10x plus 1 here? Derivative of 10x plus 1 is x square x. Derivative is at numerator and function is at denominator. Its answer by using this formula we get log of mod of tan x plus 1. Using this formula, similarly we can uh, solve the example like this e raised to x upon e raised to x plus 1 dx. Let us observe. What is derivative of e raised to x plus 1? Okay, exactly. e raised to x. It means derivative numerator, derivative at numerator and function at denominator. So, what is the answer? Log of denominator. So, its answer directly can be written as log of e raised to x plus 1 plus c. The example on this formula which we have derived back now is like this. Consider e raised to 1 upon 1 plus e raised to x. Let us observe. We have to solve this sum. But we don't have derivative and numerator. Only 1 upon 1 plus e raised to x dx. But dear friend, this example is very uh, easy and important example. Let us see how to solve this. In order to find its integral, we need pattern like derivative and function. At a denominator, we, have, we need a function. At denominator, we need derivative of that function. So, you can write your e raised to x as 1 upon e raised to minus 6. Okay? Now, after cross multiplication, this e raised to minus 6 goes to numerator and here e raised to minus 6 one the e raised to minus 6 plus 1. Let this option we get the function at numerator repeated. So, what is derivative of e raised to minus 6? It is minus e raised to minus 6. So, to get that we need to adjust the minus sign. It means now we can say derivative of z of the denominator. Its derivative is present. Means we can directly write log of denominator. It is very easy to solve. We have one more method to solve this. Let us see please. Alternative method. We can solve the example. It is equal to 1 upon 1 plus c which takes. The same example we are considering here to solve. Uh, here 1. We can easily add this plus e raised to x and minus e raised to x. Let us see. 1 plus e raised to x and minus e raised to x adjusted. Add denominator 1 plus e raised to x. Now, after adjustment, we get 1 plus e raised to x. The same we have obtained at denominator whatever at denominator. Now we can separate it. We get 1 plus e raised to x divided by 1 plus e raised to x minus e raised to x divided by 1 plus e raised to x. It means we have made two parts of numerator as we required as the denominator is 1 plus e raised to x. We have separated this part and this part uh, for getting the same at denominator. Now we can cancel this to get 1 minus e raised to x upon 1 plus e raised to x dx. Now we, we can separate the integral 1 dx minus e raised to x upon 1 plus e raised to x dx. What is the integral of 1? It is x minus. Uh, it is derivative, it is function. Derivative of numerator and function at denominator. We can write it log of 1 plus e raised to x mod complete plus c i is equal to. Now, you can observe both the methods. Here, example is sum, but answers are quite different. You may confuse, sir. My answer is this, and other my friend's answer is this. Whose answer is correct? I can say, friend, both answers are correct. But you have to write which is easy. If when you are thinking about uh, this test, this is easy for you, and when you are thinking about the easiness, it is easy. And uh, one question again arising that, sir. Are these two functions same? Exactly. Both the functions are same. You can obtain the same by uh, using some calculation on this. Let us see how. Uh, you know, e raised to minus 6 can be written as 1 upon e raised to x. 
You can convert this e to minus x as 1 upon e to x by cross multiplication and using logarithmic rule you can bring the same as this and similarly you can convert this into this it means that both the answers are exactly same today in this video what we have seen if derivative of, of denominator absurd at numerator no need to use the substitution we can directly write log of denominator so we can say here numerator is derivative and denominator is function so answer is log of function means log of denominator we can say upper derivative niche function log of niche wala let us see what upper derivative niche function log of niche wala it is very important formula in the next video we will solve some interesting example on this uh, if you like uh, this my video please uh, subscribe uh, my video to get the latest uh, video after this. Thank you for watching.